the turret. One of the major components in League of Legends, it defends you and your base from being exposed. You destroy these turrets to advance closer to the enemy team's nexus to destroy it and win the game. In this video, I will show you the steps to recreate the turret's mechanics in Unity. Behold the tools of creation! First off, I had to make a character which moves to where I click like in League, and I did this by using a tutorial from Bracky. I then downloaded some animations from Maximo and added them to my character. I also added cubes to act as minions. Now to move on to the actual turret. I downloaded this turret model by Ninja Charlie T from Sketchpad and added it to the project. In League, when you get to a certain distance from the turret, it will target you. In order to replicate this, I added a sphere collider and that when an object triggers it, the turret adds it to a list. I then used this tutorial by OmniRift to add a health bar for the player, minion, and turret. With the health bars, I could add the code that removes a number of health when the colliders of the minion or player collides with the collider of the turret. The turret would only remove the number of health only to the first object that entered the collider. In League, there is a laser that points to what it is attacking, and when it attacks something, it releases a ball of energy towards it. So I created an empty object that is placed on the staff that includes a laser from this tutorial from Bad Dewey. And using another tutorial from Bracky and adding a Y component, I made it so that the empty is facing the minion or player it is attacking, or in other words, the first object in the list. After that, I worked on a particle system that would play on the laser to act like a bullet. And there you have it, a working League of Legends turret. However, I did not implement the destroy turret coding or animation as the turret is only one object, so if you'd like to work on this project, there will be a link in the description. This project was greatly helped by the target detection from Mixing Jam's Shop Lock tutorial, so make sure to check, check them out. Anyways, if you have enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for new uploads. See you guys next time. See ya.